But Grace, didn't this trailer come out yesterday? Yes, yes it did. But while I usually work six to sometimes seven days a week, what was it on Saturday with all those trailers coming out, right? Uh, I have two days off this week that I have to take for personal reasons. Yesterday, Monday, and I'll be out tomorrow as well. But today I'm gonna react to this trailer and uh, uh, break it down as well. I'm surprised this trailer, it trended all day on Twitter, which was fantastic, all day long, all day long. But I was surprised at the lack of interest in other online uh, spaces. So let me take a look at this thing myself. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, that music is fantastic. I know what this place is. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Whoa, who are you calling a clown? Big metaphor guy. I love it. <laughs> Don't you sound super smart? I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. Is that Carol's cat? Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> sign this too. We protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Nah. Oh, I'm having so much fun already. You really believe in this Loki variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. I believe in him too! It is adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me <laughs> that's such a great line i'm 10 steps ahead of you you're not big on trust are you no one should be big on trust you can trust me okay i've studied almost every moment of your entire life you've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times why never do it again <laughs> They're in the commissary. I want to go there. And he's doing it all in a white shirt and tie. Oh, I will be there with bells on. That was phenomenal. Oh, I love it so much. The soundtrack's really doing a lot there. Also, Tom Hiddleston wearing a suit. and I mean, uh, well, he doesn't have a suit on. But wearing, uh, you know, men's dress clothes, saving the world with Owen Wilson next to him. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better. I really am enjoying Falcon and Winter Soldier. I think it's a phenomenal show. I think it's really ramping up a lot. It doesn't have the wow factor, though, at least so far that WandaVision did. I believe, and it doesn't have the Easter eggs. That's really important, I think, to getting people talking. It's one of the things that Marvel's always excelled at with their end credit sequences and stuff like that. But they seem to have so far kind of forgotten that with, um, with Falcon and Winter Soldier. They have fun little ones like the Wolverine Princess Bar and Madripoor, but not everybody's going to get excited about that. That's maybe a little too inside baseball. Uh, but this looks like it has the Easter eggs. This looks like it's going to generate a lot of conversation. It's a little Wes Anders Anderson-y, especially because Owen Wilson's smack in the middle of it. But um, I, I'd be like, for the Time Variance Authority, why is your decor stuck in a single decade when you'd be borrowing from all of them? They're like, shut up! We only have so much of a budget! <laughs> All right, I'm going to break this down. I just absolutely loved it. All right, so what did you think? Uh, share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.